Welcome back to the podcast. This is your Professor Hamby. And I know what you're thinking. Where is the snazzy intro? Well, a whole bunch of stuff is being revamped right now. And I've got notes here. This is the crinkle of paper you hear. So let's get into it. First, why have we been on another involuntary hiatus? Now, I know, I know what you're thinking, Professor Hamby. We're tired of hearing the excuses. So, you know, people have passed. You were given COVID by your nutritionist. You've been slammed with work. What happened this time? Well, this time, it wasn't to me. It was to the university. Our entire IT network has been shut down because we were hit with a ransomware attack. I am not clear on any of the technical details. Don't ask me any of that. Uh, but I do know that the ransomers are no longer responding. And that's an issue. The last thing we got was some sort of weird cryptic message about beetles. Maybe they meant bugs. Apparently English isn't their first language. I tried Googling for stuff about beetles and cybercrime, but all I got was this weird story about this North Korean town that is apparently part of North Korea's very limited IT industry and how it was overrun by beetles that were so bad that after the town was evacuated, it had to be firebombed by the World Health Organization. I didn't know the World Health Organization worked with napalm bomb carpet bombing. And apparently they have brigadier, brigadier generals in who? And according to Brigadier General William Lincoln, and I just loved the phrasing here, we handled it like Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, anyway, we can toss that. I'm sure that's not relevant to anything. But if anybody out there knows what beetles have to do with ransomware attacks, we'd really like to talk to these entities and try to recover everything. I mean, there was stuff in there like, you know, Encrypted scans, really high quality stuff of some of our rare book collection and stuff like that. But clouds have silver linings. And one of the silver linings on this is that the Board of Trustees has given our IT department a bunch more money. And, dramatic pause, some of it is being passed on to me to improve the podcast. So, we're going to have a new actual subdomain off MiskatonicUniversity.net for the comics course. New website. Still have to talk to the IT people who handle all that. I don't know what it's going to look like yet. And we're going to have some hardware upgrades and software upgrades. First of all, we've been using these low-end, nice but low-end, sure mics. They're going to be upgraded to these nice Rode podcasting XLR mics. They are going to go through not the old... Mixing board, but a Behringer, uh, Utopia, something, 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 dedicated audio interfaces. Those will go directly into a computer running this nice software called Hindenburg Pro that will record Rowan and I in separate channels and allow modifications. So really looking forward to all that. Additionally, my office is going to get a little more soundproofing. That'll be nice. And... And this is going to be a big content change, but we're going to scale back to recording once a week. I feel like some of the episodes have been a little too haphazard, and I want to deliver quality. Plus, I want to start getting material loaded up in advance so that when crises happen, we don't miss a week posting. And there will be some new content in the episodes, a little bit of light news about what's happening in the publishing world of comic books especially where I think it has cultural import. So, that's kind of the state of the podcast. You'll see me again soon. But for now, class is out of session.